Hello and welcome to the channel. You join me here in Wales, more specifically the south of Snowdonia. I've just left Mackinleth, crossed the bridge over the river Deefy, and we're on a journey over the next six days, the Snowdonia Way, which will take us from the south to the north, finishing at, I think it's pronounced, Conwy. 122 miles ish so six days hiking wild camping as well where possible i'm following the cicerone guidebook and stage 1a is on the agenda this morning and for most of today which will take us from mackinleth to abergolwyn 12 miles and 1000 meters of ascent let's do this come join me on the Snowdonia Way. Now making our way up into the Deefy Forest, about 200 metres up, and then we come back down through some uh, farms and head up to the first peak of today, which is Taran Hendry. Now, I do apologise, I'm going to try my hardest to uh, pronounce these names, but being Welsh, very tricky, very tricky. So I chose the Snowdonia Way because I wanted a route that took me through Wales and up some of the most iconic climbs. And this route seems to have it all. We've got uh, Cadaridris coming up tonight or tomorrow morning, uh, Connect, the gliders, Mount Snowdon, uh, crossing the Carnef at the end. There's a bit of history along the way, a few castles, ruins, forests. So a little bit of everything, which is what I was looking for, just to experience Wales. Just one more thing, the Snowdonia Way, there is a low level route and a high level route. You can mix and match, so where possible, I'll be going high. But for now, I'm going to get going and I'll bring you back when I reach the top of Taran Hendry. Welcome back and welcome to Taran Hendry, 633 metres. Woo, where are we? Mile 8.2, three hours 20. Not bad going. Bit of a cold breeze. I was hoping to get the drone up, as always, whenever I bring it. Oh, lovely. Onwards we go to finish stage 1A, off to the little village of Abergolwyn, four miles away, 
straight down 600 meters uh, once we get about halfway we go through the Hendry forest which beside of is the quarry which this village was sort of born from over this way quick check of the map and I've just realized that beast of a ridge over there is Cader Idris which is where we're off to later on tonight all things being well for a camp somewhere up there hoping this wind dies down a bit just one more quick thing when I get to this village the guidebook says there's a uh, cafe and a pub Google was a bit vague about opening hours but I'm hoping to get some lunch from somewhere have a drink, have a quick rest then crack on to the next stage I'll bring you back when we're in Aber Goldwyn Alrighty, so I made it to Aber Goldwyn. Pub closed down, cafe closed. So I'm having to make a half a mile walk out of my way up to a train station where there is a cafe, but I don't know if it's open. Looks promising. Yes, yes, we're back in the game. Lifesaver that was. Morale is lifted, we're all good. And we're... There it goes again. And we're cracking on now to stage 1B, which is from Abergolwyn to Dolgefly, 14 miles. We won't complete it today. We're gonna to have a camp somewhere halfway. Now the highlight of this part is the mighty ridge of Cadaridris, which it says is the finest mountain walk in South Snowdonia. So we've got that to look forward to. I'm not too sure if I'll make it to the peak or camp somewhere before. However, before we get there, we've got a castle to check out and we've got to talk about Mary Jones. Let's go. Lovely riverside walk out of the village. And as I was alluding to, we've got a ruined castle to look forward to. It was one of the first stone castles built by the Welsh princes around the year 1200 I believe it's about two miles further on I'll bring you back when we get there
Here we are then. Mary Jones. Monument. This is where she lived. And so the story goes. When she was says so 18 here, when she was 18, she walked 25 miles barefoot to Bala to get a Bible from Thomas Charles, a uh, clergyman who was, was so inspired by her walk that he went on to form the British and Foreign Bible Society, which would distribute Bibles throughout the world and apparently, according to the book, they have got the biggest collection of Bibles in the world. Oh, from Mary Jones. So here's the state of play. It's three o'clock. I've got 4.6 miles to the top of Cadiridris, which is Penny Gadare, 893 meters. So 4.6 miles to go and 740 metres of up. Uh, I'm just going to take it slow. See what the wind, see what the wind is doing once we get near the top. If it's looking a bit blustery. I might come back on myself maybe or camp up before we get to that point. Who knows? It's all an adventure. Come on, Cadridris, let's get up there. I think I've got some blister issues, which is not good, and it's my own fault. New shoes, haven't broke them in. <sighs> what am I like? I think I'm going to pitch up just here. That's the trig point, just on the other side of the brow. And then tomorrow, I've got to remember to wake up, head up there for a bit, and then take a right to continue along the ridge. Right, I'll just show you the digs, as always. X mid. Treated myself to the firmer rest. 
and my warmer quilt. Should be very cosy. Just drying that sweaty t-shirt out. That sweaty cap. Yeah, so, oh my gosh. Hungry, hungry, hungry. 22.7 miles. Let's get some food on the go. Well, I'll just bring you over to my little kitchen out of the wind. I've got that uh, brewing away. I'll be ready in a few minutes. What an incredible first day then. So tomorrow we have got to get down from this ridge into uh, Dolgefly and begin stage two, which will take us through the forest. Um, I was just reading the book. Here we are, look. Before I go, I'll just leave you with this. The most famous myth associated with Cadridris is to do with the tradition of sleeping alone on the summit. Morning which finds you either dead, mad or a poet. On that note, I'll end today's video. I'll display some stats at the end and whatnot and I shall catch you in day two. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.